Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? But she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'd be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. Now you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those... things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here.
Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. This rope is perfect for the swing. Nothing else I need in here. do for you, sweetie. Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of you, staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night, those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Well, don't you worry about it, Lee. We've got a great big dining room that will fit your whole group. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous.
We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. 
Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We got friends! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! I got you now! No fuel. Of course. They hide the tractor! You fuck with us! Now we'll take what we want! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the shit! I never need a young boy at What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Give me all the Quick! He'll see you! Another one? How many of those things did we push down? What's wrong? 